Hi guys, welcome to Dandi. I'm excited to be here as it's my first visit. Previously, I was in Edinburgh and had a fantastic time there. Then I decided to explore some more places around Scotland, such as here in Dundee. Dundee is the oldest and fourth largest city in Scotland and has a population of around 150,000 people. Historically, Dundee is known for the production of the long shiny vegetable fiber called jute and developed a reputation as creator of fruits gems. Dundee has a strong tradition of journalism that lives up to the present day. Dundee is located centrally which gives easy access to visit other areas such as Perth, Creel, Ely, Stonehaven and so on. However, my starting point is to visit and explore the city of Dundee. My accommodation is also located near the train station, which is close to the sea and the ship discovery and VA gallery. There is an option for taking tour bus, the price depends on how far the route is, and it generally goes around all the important points of the city of Dundee. During my trip here, I also visited some other places, such as Dundee Loo. It's 35 minutes walk from the center and is the highest point of the city. The low is what remains of a volcanic seal, which is the result of volcanic activity around 400 million years ago. From there, you can get a great view over the whole of Dundee from above. Then I visited HMS Unicorn which was launched in 1824 and is one of six of the most original historic ships in the world. The tickets to enter are £8. Unicorn has 46 cannons and is made from wood. Besides the ship, people enjoy water sport activities in the Quay area. My next visit is Brody Ferry, which is located 4 miles to the east of Dundee city center. The Brody Ferry, known as the Jewel in Dundee's Crown, has stunning views which overlook the castle and the sea. Therefore, you can walk around and explore the area. Next destination is Creel. Creel is a historic seaside fishing town, which is lovely to visit. Creel and Ellie almost have the same style in terms of the beach and the harbour. The town is pretty nice to look around and very peaceful and quiet, especially if you like to explore as a solo traveller. Next places is Ellie. Hello! Ellie is popular seaside town in the East Nuke of Fife and the harbour was established in the 16th century and has many boats and yachts. The journey to go to Ellie is incredible and very rewarding especially when you sit on the bus with nice cup of tea or coffees and observe the view from the window. During your journey, you can see with the fields, wonderful nature, the harbor, beautiful towns, and various things. The journey takes over one hour by bus from Dundee and exceed my expectation. The transportation is infrequent but is very reliable, so thumbs up. My first impression when I visited this area was that it's very family oriented. Families come here to spend time together and enjoy activities with their loved ones and their children. Then I decided to walk to Elena's lighthouse, first lit in 1098. There is also an option for wild camping, 
in the Rabbi Bay area. which is close to Lady Tower. Lady's Tower was built in 1770 and was used by Lady Janet as changing room before she went for her swing. This building is open air, so you can visit it at any time. I enjoy walking around there and the fact that I spend my whole day there pretty much says everything about the places. It is a great location to enjoy your time and I highly recommend a visit. Don't forget to put Ellie on your bucket list for your next trip. However, in Scotland, golf is very popular. There are many places dedicated for it and many harbors too. I hope you enjoy your visit and see you next time.